I just came outside to show you really quick before it gets here. But there's going to be about 16 tons of dirt there in like 20 minutes. <laughs> afford a hose reel just like because that's how I know we'll have made it in life <laughs> to be honest with you I think raking the worst in trouble on it yeah, I'm about done with this you want a power wash I'll do that you want to give it a go for a little while I am a seasoned professional at moving dirt at this point I'm not saying I enjoy it <laughs> But I can move some dirt. tired so it is probably around 6 6 30 it's wednesday taylor's chain sawing if you can't hear that we have been working on adding fill dirt i think i snapped a quick video of it earlier i did i'll put it in here we got 16 tons of fill dirt delivered today it was supposed to get delivered yesterday and then they said they were kind of backed up and they weren't sure when we were gonna get it the answer was today so <laughs> they dumped it right at the end of our driveway um by the carport and the camper and guys this stuff is freaking heavy it's heavier than the compost for sure i have been going back and forth and back and forth wheelbarrow a wheelbarrow at a time <laughs> which is a lot of work and i'm probably about done for the night i think because i need to go make us dinner and I need to start seeds tonight. I just thought I'd pop in and show you. I have barely any of it done, <laughs> but I've work been working on it for like two hours. So it doesn't really look like much right now. We're still gonna get topsoil and we'll put that on top and then we will be able to plant on top of that. So how it was before was our gutters, our old gutters were really messed up and dripping really bad right here. And we had a leak in the basement right in that spot. This part right here along the wall was dropped down really far and then there was like a mountain right here <laughs> in front of it. So it was like going up 
and then down and dipped to the wall. Obviously we need to fix that because we don't want water going into our basement, especially because we plan on finishing it at some point. We are adding this fill dirt, we're gonna get topsoil to put on top of it, and then we're gonna plant things in it. It just needs to be correctly graded to be able to do that and keep the basement dry now that we have fixed the gutters. So it's gonna be a process, but making some small progress on it tonight. <laughs> just as you can see. <laughs> So this sunset is just so pretty. If you ignore all of our trash and look up there. All right, I don't feel like cleaning stuff up yet. So I'm gonna go see what Taylor has done down in the orchard. Looks like he cut some of the pears down. <laughs> Saturday. It's kind of early. It's a little chilly this morning. It's been raining the last two days, so a little, a little cool this morning, but it's beautiful. The birds are all chirping really loud. All you can hear is probably the truck, <laughs> but something exciting is happening today. We're getting all of our garden trellises. We had to rent a U-Haul trailer to do so <laughs> because we don't own a trailer yet, but we just got like a U-Haul called car trailer because that was what was available for like 50 bucks. So we're going to pick that up. We might get coffee. And then we are gonna go head to Tractor Supply. It's only like five minutes from here. So it's not like a long trip or anything, but we're gonna go get the, the cattle panels and a bunch of T-posts at Tractor Supply. Basically just head home, bring it here, and hopefully start setting up T-posts. I don't know if we'll get, I don't know if we'll get the cow panels up today, but T-posts are going in so that we at least know the spacing and then I can plant peas. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Basically that, I might work on, we might work on some other small projects, but probably more tree trimming as well. This whole pathway is going to be trellises. This is 24 feet, so it's going to be six cattle panels wide. I'm so excited. <laughs> out today actually they're here <laughs> we have to unload them taylor's going to the bathroom real quick and yeah that's the plan still drinking my coffee i am gonna quickly unload the flowers we got walmart has hey ricky walmart had hyacinths and tulips for a dollar like a dollar 30 or something like that each and they all have like three bulbs, two to three bulbs in them. So we got like 24 of them. <laughs> and I know they're already flowering. 
so they probably they probably won't last too much longer this year but i can plant the bulbs and they will continue to grow so alternative to buying bulbs in the fall the coolest thing about them other than how amazing they smell is if you look at the tag i was looking to see the tulips aren't blooming yet all the way so i was looking at to see what colors they were because i wanted to get a variety of colors and they're from grand rapids michigan isn't that so cool so flowers from home i think that's very very cool um even though they're just walmart flowers i'm pretty excited about this and i think they're so pretty so we got pink hyacinths ricky why are you in the truck we got a bunch of these grape hyacinths, which also smell good. They have very different smells. The pink one's more like florally, and these are more like, they actually smell kind of like, they actually smell kind of like grapes. And then I got a red tulip. I got an orange and yellow mix. I got a pink one and I got a purple one. So, yep. I don't know what we're gonna do with them. I'd like to put them in front of the house, but we have to grade that still. They're gonna probably stay in their pots for now. <laughs> totally forgot. We got these cheap Concord grapes. They were like $7 at Walmart. And I also got red grapes. I don't know how to say what these ones are. Seedless Canadis? Canadis? And we got a boatload of tea posts so we can set up these trellises. Hey, Ricky. These smell so freaking good. I know. <laughs> I wish I could just like stand here in the wind and smell them forever. Um, I don't know if there was a bee on it when we brought it, but there's already bees on the purple ones in the truck. They must be able to smell them. All right, I'm gonna just set them on the porch for now. I'm sure the bees will be happy about that. Yeah, they're all from Grand Rapids. Oh, cool. Isn't that cool? Okay. Here you go. Got your pickle. Happy lunch. I didn't even realize your coffee was on. Oh. <laughs> well, good job not spilling it. <laughs> um, where, do you want to just put them in the garden or like down here? Um, I mean, we're putting them up today, right? Yeah. Just lay them like next to the pecan here. Okay. I don't know, do they need to be on like one of the, like one of these? Or no? Uh, I actually don't know. Oh shoot, let me, let me grab the clip, put these things out of the truck so they don't need to line up. Okay. The vertical. Well, I, mean, I think like having, they don't need to be like all the way out here. They could be in here or here. Do you think it would be better to have it on the vertical too? Or why don't we just do like on the That's first right. vertical? So do we need to go get a tool then? Or do you want to just do the T-post for now? Well, yeah, we can just do the T-post. Those don't have to go on. Mm -hmm. um, three foot, four and a half. Do you want to just like, we can lay the tape measure out? Yeah. Ricky. <laughs> Straight up front. Ow! Ah, this kind of sucks. <clears throat> Hammering though? Yeah. Alright, you ready to try this again? Here. Yeah, this is a straightening hook. Oh, not the straightest, but <laughs> I mean that's okay.
we had to take, oh God, my hair. We had to take a break because we were both sore and needed a break from the sun. But we are about to go head down to the orchard and the like pathway down here, like the lane and spread some oats as a cover crop because it gets kind of mushy down here. All right, I'm gonna go grab the boy. This is just feed oats, cleaned feed oats. And apparently some corn. <laughs> 